Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Scott Tusa. Welcome to my channel where we explore how to cultivate a transformative meditation practice through Buddhist wisdom. Today we're going to explore a practice of meditative awareness. You might want to just pause the video for a second, find a quiet space where you can practice today. Maybe if you want to sit on the floor, bring a cushion. If you want to sit in a chair, just go ahead and prepare that right now. So as I said in the last video, there's many styles, techniques, and methods for practicing meditation. In the Tibetan Buddhist lineages, which I'm going to share here, we practice meditation by cultivating awareness and familiarizing the mind with beneficial qualities like loving kindness, compassion, uh, meditative awareness, and eventually insight into the nature of reality. Today, I'm going to guide a short practice of meditative awareness using the breath. The breath is really the most common anchor for meditation you can see out there. We also use it within Tibetan Buddhism. We also use meditative awareness with other kinds of anchors like visualizations or external objects. Um, we also sometimes don't use an object at all, which I may teach in a later video. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and get started. So whether you're sitting in a chair or sitting on the floor, the main thing is to keep the back upright uh, if you're sitting in a chair, you can scoot forward, place a cushion under you to kind of prop your hips forward so you don't have to lean against the chair. Uh, if you're on a cushion on the ground, that's already, you know, going to be happening for you. But nonetheless, you know, what I like to do when I first come into meditation is just relax the body a little bit because it can feel sometimes a little uptight to straighten the spine. So simply just allow the shoulders to come back and down. You might want to roll them a little bit just to feel your body upright but relaxed. There's some additional posture tweaks we can do, though I'm not going to go into all of them today. You can, you know, tuck your chin a little bit. With the eye gaze, you can close the eyes or leave them half open. You'll see me practicing with the eyes half open today. With your hands, you can place them on your knees or on your lap. Sometimes we also have some uh, what we call mudras for meditation. A common one is, is this one, the, the right over the left hand with the thumbs touching. But nonetheless, it's totally fine to just leave your hands naturally on the legs or on your knees. And so we'll just take a moment to settle into the posture, begin to deepen the breath in and out of the nose. And if you're new to breathing in and out of the nose, don't focus too much on a perfect breath. We're not taking like a deep, how do you say, like a, a breath that's uh, so strong you can hear it. We're breathing a little bit more gently, just allowing the breath to arise and fall naturally. And as you start to Familiarize with the feeling of the breath arising and falling naturally in and out of the nose. Start to bring your attention there, either to the tip of the nose, the sensation of the breath arising and falling at the tip of the nose, or maybe the sensation of the chest and abdomen arising and falling. And for some of you who are completely new to meditation, you can even label with the thinking mind in on the inhalation and out on the exhalation. That's also totally fine. So we're just going to spend a few moments familiarizing with the breath, allowing our attention and awareness to start to come into the present moment. Now, for the sake of keeping this video shorter, you can go ahead and pause it here and spend some time just paying attention, bringing more attention to the breath and body. And next, we're going to see if we can become familiar with this quality of mind that's bearing witness or becoming watchful of the breath. So there's the attention to breath, which is the mind that's paying attention. And there's also awareness, which is the mind that can know we're paying attention or the mind that can be watchful of that attention. So just see if you can notice that. 
Some people call this a quality of a witnesser. So there's a witnesser being present with the breath. And the main thing here is we're training in awareness and what's called non-distraction. So the main thing we're remedying in meditative awareness is distraction. So distraction is when one thought comes and leads to another and another and suddenly we're not aware of the breath. We're off lost in a story or thinking about something we got to do later or something that happened yesterday. And so the key thing is to notice when that happens and bring your attention back to the breathing body and back to this quality of awareness of the mind. So we don't need to get rid of thoughts. We just need to notice when we've been hijacked by them. And hijacked doesn't mean a thought arises. It means we've literally lost track of being aware of the breath. So try that for a few moments. This also might be a great place to pause the video. So as you continue to practice, just focus more and more on being present and aware of the breathing body. Noticing when you're distracted and bringing the attention and awareness back to the breath, back to this quality of who is experiencing the breath. And again, you can always simplify this back to just attention to breath. So with that, we're going to close the practice today. We can close the practice dedicating the positive energy we cultivated and familiarizing our mind with awareness to the benefit of ourselves and others. The sense that as we grow our own inner light, that inner light can shine more in the world. It can bring more peace in the world. So just generate that thought for a moment, dedicating the energy we put into our practice today. So thanks so much for joining me today for this brief practice. In the next video, I'm going to discuss how to cultivate a consistent daily practice, which I find for the students I teach and mentees I work with to be a challenging thing this day and age. We're all really busy. We all have a hard time dedicating consistent time to our daily meditation practice. So we'll talk about that next time. In the meantime, uh, again, check out the links, uh, the free resources, as well as guided meditations I have on my website. If you like this video, please give it a like, share it if you so wish. And um, yeah, thanks so much for joining me until next time. Happy practice. Happy life. See you soon.